Something shocking just happened in Israel, leaving religious folks in a frenzy. Imagine a small country with a rich history caught in a whirlwind of unexpected events. What just happened has shaken the faith of many. So let's dive into this video today to find out exactly what unfolded and why it's causing such a stir among the religious community. The Jews took back control of the Temple Mount, and this allowed them to start building the Third Jewish Temple. This event is related to the birth pains Jesus talked about. Also, there's an alliance forming against Israel, involving Russia, Iran, Turkey, and other countries. Israel is a diverse nation with a rich history, including Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. This history often causes tensions in the region. Birthright, a group, wants to reclaim some of its land to build a worship place, showing the Jewish community's commitment to rebuilding the temple. Despite ongoing conflicts, the Western Wall in Jerusalem remains from the Second Temple, destroyed by the Romans 70 years after Christ. This wall strongly supports the Jewish claim to the city. The Temple Institute recently started building the Third Temple. This news brings joy to believers worldwide who see it as the fulfillment of prophecies, Israel's unusual events. However, something surprising happened in Israel, catching the attention of religious people. To understand these events, we need to delve into the history of Israel. Israel is a small country in the Middle East with a rich history as written in the Hebrew Bible. It's about the size of New Jersey and is located on the eastern coast of the Mediterranean Sea, bordered by Egypt, Jordan, Lebanon, and Syria. The majority of its population is Jewish, and it boasts archaeological and religious sites sacred to Jews, Muslims, and Christians. The history of Israel, marked by periods of peace and conflict, is largely understood from the pages of the Hebrew Bible. Abraham, a central figure in monotheistic faiths, is considered the father of Judaism through his son Isaac and Islam through his son Ishmael. His descendants endured centuries of slavery in Egypt before reaching the land of Canaan, which eventually became modern Israel. The name Israel was given to Abraham's grandson, Jacob. Throughout its turbulent history, this land has been revered by various civilizations and empires, each worshipping a single god. It has served as a sacred site, differentiated by the worship of a monotheistic deity. One must consider this backdrop to comprehend recent events. These occurrences have shaken the religious community in Israel, prompting reflection and analysis. The Devotion of Israelites the Israelites were distinctive for their profound devotion, not expressed through grand buildings, but in worship of the singular God. The enduring impact of their beliefs is encapsulated in the Hebrew Bible, particularly the first five books, which are collectively known as the Torah. These texts, collectively called the Torah, narrate the divine call to Abraham, instructing him to embark on a transformative journey toward the promised land of Canaan. The divine plan was passed on to Abraham's son, Isaac, and later to Jacob, who was given the name Israel, giving rise to the tribes of Israel. The Israelites' stay in Egypt, marked by centuries of servitude, reached its culmination in their liberation under the leadership of Moses. Guided by Moses, they approached the conquest of the promised land, Canaan, under the leadership of Joshua. The biblical narrative vividly describes Israel's ongoing conflicts with neighboring peoples, particularly emphasizing the formidable adversaries, the Philistines. The renowned figure, King David, played a pivotal role by conquering Jerusalem and establishing it as the capital of Israel. Following this, King Solomon, David's son, erected the first holy temple in Jerusalem, housing the revered Ark of the Covenant. However, after the death of Solomon in 931 BC, the monarchy underwent a division, creating two separate kingdoms, Israel and Judah. This historical split marked a significant turning point in the trajectory of the Israelites, leading to distinct developments in the histories of these two kingdoms, Zionism and the complexities of Jerusalem. In the 19th and 20th centuries, Zionism emerged as a significant political and religious movement among Jews, particularly in Israel's history. 
Zionists aimed to establish a Jewish homeland in Palestine, leading to a surge in Jewish immigration, notably after the horrors of the Holocaust during World War II. The focus of the Zionist movement then shifted towards the establishment of an independent Jewish state. In 1948, Israel declared its independence, marking a monumental triumph. However, this declaration also ignited ongoing tensions with the Arab population in Palestine. Jerusalem, central to the three main Abrahamic religions, holds immense significance. It houses holy relics and sites revered by Jews, Christians, and Muslims alike. Jerusalem remains at the heart of a long-standing conflict despite its sacred status. What makes Jerusalem uniquely complex is its extensive history and contested legal status. The city's origins date back at least 4,400 years, witnessing periods of destruction and changing hands over time. The modern Jerusalem we know today differs significantly from its ancient counterpart. Notably, the Jerusalem of the Bible is part of occupied East Jerusalem. This region contains sacred sites such as the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, associated with the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus, the Western Wall, and the Al-Aqsa Mosque, all sharing the revered Temple Mount. The presence of these religious landmarks underscores the city's importance to Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. However, the intertwining of religious significance, historical narratives, and political aspirations makes Jerusalem a focal point of contention. Resolving the complexities surrounding Jerusalem remains a significant challenge in achieving lasting peace in the region. Moreover, Jerusalem holds profound importance across various religions. For Christians, it is significant due to its association with Jesus, serving as a crucial pilgrimage site imbued with deep spiritual meaning. Judaism reveres Jerusalem for its connection to the Temple Mount and the Western Wall, symbolizing ancient Jewish temples and religious heritage. Islam also holds Jerusalem in high regard, particularly for the Dome of the Rock and the Al-Aqsa Mosque, which are revered as sacred sites. However, alongside its religious significance, Jerusalem is fraught with political and religious tensions. The city is a focal point of contention, disputed between Israel and Palestine, especially after the 1967 Six-Day War. Israel gained control over much of Jerusalem, including East Jerusalem, which is considered part of occupied Palestinian territory. This geopolitical conflict has further exacerbated the complexities surrounding Jerusalem. One notable incident highlighting these tensions occurred in the aftermath of the Six-Day War when Israeli forces demolished the old Moroccan quarter in the Jewish quarter of Jerusalem to create access to the Western Wall. This action, though aimed at enhancing religious access, added complexity to the city's history and contributed to persistent tensions between religious and ethnic communities. Challenges Facing Religious Communities in Jerusalem Religious communities in Jerusalem encounter multifaceted challenges stemming from the city's complex history and contentious presence. For Jews, the destruction of the First and Second Temples left a significant void in their worship practices, prompting discussions about the construction of a Third Temple. However, realizing this proposal has proven exceedingly difficult, as we will delve into shortly. The history of Jerusalem epitomizes the delicate balance between religious beliefs, historical significance, and modern realities. Since the fall of the Second Temple in 70 AD, the region, including the Temple Mount, has witnessed migration and colonization by people of diverse origins, complicating the Israelite claim to the land. With its profound religious and historical importance, the Temple Mount stands as a sensitive and controversial area at the heart of Jerusalem. Control over the Temple Mount has been fiercely disputed between Israel and Palestine for decades. Constructing a new temple poses significant infrastructure challenges, impacting existing facilities like schools and hospitals in the surrounding area. The Temple Mount is also replete with archaeological sites, raising concerns about potential harm from excavation and reconstruction activities. Environmentalists express apprehension about the disturbance of rare and endangered species and the area's biodiversity, 
further complicating any development plans. One significant obstacle to rebuilding the temple in Jerusalem lies in the religious diversity deeply rooted in the region. While Jews assert their rightful claim to the land, Muslims vehemently disagree, historically leading to violence and chaos. The presence of the Dome of the Rock, a revered Muslim site situated on the Temple Mount, further complicates matters. For a long time, Jews were banned from visiting this complex, exacerbating tensions. However, Jewish claims have garnered support, bolstered by archaeological discoveries such as a mikveh, a Jewish ritual cleansing site found beneath the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Additionally, the Sanhedrin, a Jewish religious council, has taken steps to revive Jewish law and temple services in preparation for rebuilding the Third Temple. Gradually implementing measures toward this goal, including cultivating farms and forests to recreate the environmental conditions of ancient Israel, they aim to meet temple rituals. Despite questions about its authority and environmental concerns, the Sanhedrin remains committed to promoting and preserving Jewish law and tradition. An essential aspect of preparing for the temple's reconstruction involves training the Kohanim, members of the priestly class descended from Aaron, Moses' brother. Although traditional priestly duties cannot be fulfilled without the temple, Kohanim maintains a revered status in Jewish communities by participating in various functions. In religious ceremonies, the Sanhedrin is actively training Kohanim in using equipment for both the old and new temples, including altars and offering burnt offerings. However, one significant challenge arises in the production of a red calf, crucial for purification rituals before entering the temple, as red calves are now extinct. To address this, the Sanhedrin is exploring methods of creating pristine red heifers using the Red Angus breed. Five red heifers have already been transported to Israel, awaiting the age of three to be used in the purification ceremony. Initially, the heifers undergo quarantine in Haifa for at least seven days to ensure their health. Following this, they are distributed to various locations in Israel, with one location open for public viewing. These heifers are cared for until they reach the appropriate age for the ritual, starting from their third year. The Bone Israel Organization, comprising both Jews and Christians, played a pivotal role in locating and bringing these heifers to Israel. Byron Stinson, a rancher from Texas, raised the cattle. A special ceremony marking their arrival was held at Ben Gurion Airport, attended by significant figures from the Temple Institute, such as Rabbi Chanan Kupietsky, Rabbi Tsachi Mamo, Rabbi Yisrael Ariel, and Rabbi Azaria Ariel, alongside Byron Stinson and Netanel Isaac from the Jerusalem and Heritage Ministry. After the quarantine was completed, the calves were released to two different locations in Israel. One location was made accessible to the public, while the other remains undisclosed. The decision to keep one location undisclosed serves as a precautionary measure to ensure the safety and integrity of the red heifers. Given the tremendous importance of the temple and its rituals for the Jewish people, any disruption or desecration would be deemed a serious offense. Keeping one location undisclosed minimizes the risk of external influences that could compromise the sanctity of the red heifer and its crucial role in the purification rituals central to the anticipated third temple. Moreover, as per the book of Numbers 19 to 10, God commands Moses and Aaron to instruct the Israelites to bring a red heifer, which must be unblemished and never used for work. This red heifer plays a crucial role in purification rituals, where its blood is sprinkled towards the front of the tabernacle. However, the process doesn't end with the heifer's slaughter. Afterward, the heifer, cedar wood, hyssop, and scarlet material are burned. The resulting ashes hold vital significance for future purification rituals. When mixed with water, these ashes create a solution used to cleanse individuals who have come into contact with a dead body, rendering them ritually impure. Why are these requirements so important? They carry profound symbolic and ritualistic meanings rooted in ancient religious practices. The heifer's red color is intricately linked to concepts of blood and sacrifice. Its unblemished state symbolizes purity, serving as a potent metaphor for cleansing from impurity. 
Beyond the surface, these rituals represent a spiritual renewal, allowing individuals to become ritually clean once again. In ancient religious contexts, the red heifer's rituals had significance beyond the immediate actions. Because of its spotless nature, the red heifer became a powerful symbol of purity and cleansing. The ritual described in Numbers 19, where the red heifer was slaughtered outside the camp, echoes ancient themes of symbolic purification and atonement. Some draw parallels between the red heifer rituals and Christian beliefs, interpreting these ancient practices as early symbolic representations of Jesus' sacrifice for the forgiveness of sins. The spotlessness of the red heifer finds resonance in Jesus, often referred to as the spotless Lamb of God. His sacrificial act is seen as a means of redeeming humanity from sin. Examining the ritual described in Numbers 19, where the blood of the red heifer was sprinkled by a priest on the tabernacle seven times, draws parallels to Jesus' crucifixion outside Jerusalem. This act of sprinkling blood is seen as representing purification and atonement, mirroring Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, where his blood was shed to bring forgiveness for sins. This early Christian interpretation of the red heifer rituals as symbolic representations of Jesus' sacrifice is evident in various texts of the New Testament. For instance, the book of Hebrews explicitly parallels the red heifer sacrifice and Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. Hebrews 9.13-14 articulates this connection, stating, The blood of goats and bulls and the ashes of a heifer sprinkled on those who are ceremonially unclean sanctify them, drawing a comparison to the blood of Christ, offering cleansing for the conscience and enabling service to the living God. Further, building on the interpretation that the rituals involving the red heifer in the Hebrew Bible serve as symbolic foreshadowing, of Jesus' ultimate sacrifice for the atonement of sins, the arrival of the red heifer holds profound symbolic significance. According to this interpretation, these ancient rituals find resonance in the Christian belief that they foreshadowed the ultimate sacrifice made by Jesus for the redemption and atonement of humanity. Besides religious concerns, there are some political challenges too. Beyond religious aspects, Jews face political challenges. The lack of a clear legal ruling and the necessity for a peaceful consensus raises questions about political action, particularly in a democratic country like Israel. The intricacies of the political system contribute to ongoing debates over temple construction. Additionally, the potential effects on the international community are considered as neighboring Arab countries view the temple's reconstruction as a threat to their sovereignty. Moreover, the financial burden of temple construction may require dependence on outside donors, further increasing tensions. The Bible directly addresses the Temple Mount, emphasizing its reconstruction in prophecies, adding weight to the endeavor. The Significance of Prophecies in Rebuilding the Temple Prophecies from Ezekiel, Daniel, and Zechariah, also found in the New Testament, have long inspired faith and hope among believers. These prophecies underscore the role of the temple in eschatology and the fulfillment of divine promises. The anticipation of the temple's rebuilding and restoration continues to captivate the imagination of those awaiting its realization. The complexity surrounding the issue of rebuilding the temple on the Temple Mount necessitates a solution that may involve the intervention of mediators capable of addressing the challenges and conflicting interests at play. Many biblical scholars interpret the temple rebuilding as a specific fulfillment of Daniel's prophecy in the Bible. According to this prophecy, Daniel received a vision from an angel predicting the coming of a Messiah, the destruction of a city and its temple, and the subsequent rebuilding of the temple. The prophecy outlines a timeline for the rebuilding, starting with issuing a decree to restore and rebuild Jerusalem. After the temple's reconstruction, the prophecy foretells the arrival of an anointed one who would later be killed, leading to the temple's destruction. For believers, the significance of rebuilding the temple lies in the fulfillment of these prophecies. It is seen as a crucial step towards the realization of biblical events and the arrival of the final days, marking the culmination of divine promises and the ultimate fulfillment of faith. The Rise of the Antichrist 
The prophecy suggests that after the temple rebuilding, a period of relative peace and prosperity is expected before the emergence of a new ruler, often interpreted as the Antichrist. This figure is believed to support world leaders politically and religiously in the construction of the Third Temple. The rise of the Antichrist is viewed as the beginning of the end of days, signaling the unfolding of events that would lead to the Battle of Armageddon. In this apocalyptic battle, the forces of the Antichrist would confront Jesus Christ and his followers. The concept of Armageddon, derived from the Christian Bible, symbolizes the final confrontation between good and evil. While there is debate over whether Armageddon refers to a specific location or the battle itself, the consensus is that these events mark the fulfillment of biblical prophecies and the culmination of human history. The rebuilding of the temple is regarded as a significant step towards the end of days, where the rise of the Antichrist and the subsequent events are seen as crucial components of these prophecies. Despite varying interpretations and ongoing debates, the overarching belief is that these events represent the fulfillment of biblical prophecies and the eventual establishment of the kingdom of Jesus Christ, bringing about the ultimate triumph of good over evil. Nah, nah. So what do you think of the mysterious things happening in Israel, terrifying religious people worldwide? Comment below and subscribe for more.